I met her, we were friends for like two years before. We were just in classes together in high school. and You know, you have those friends, you're just like, well, when we get married, but we would say it a lot, and now it's kind of funny, because I started dating him, and it just, it felt right, and it feels real, and he's my best friend. And so when we started dating, it was almost like I didn't know what to do with myself, you know, and I just, in a lot of ways, I was, I was nervous. It was almost like an intimidation, just because of how, how much I respected her um, before we started dating, and how much I, um, I looked up to her. You just know, God just has really affirmed that in the way he's blessed our friendship, blessed our engagement, and I'm praying that he blesses our marriage. God's just remained faithful for both of us, and it's, um, it's been a blessing, and I'm thankful for her, and I'm, I'm so glad that this day is finally here because I think we both knew it a long time ago. Sarah Wiley Helton, the last time I get to call you that. Mel, you're the forever I've prayed for since I was a little girl. The best way I can describe you is 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it doesn't boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it's not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Marriage is said to be a reunion of God's full design for humanity, and we are ready to honor Him through that. I can't wait to learn to love you better daily. We're better together than we are apart. I love you and I like you, Miller Armstrong. Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. When I'm with you, I can finally breathe. When I'm with you, I can finally breathe. 